Hi, Levine. I am a professor at Queens College City University of New York. New York City is engaged in a marijuana arrest crusade. Under Michael Bloomberg and Raymond Kelly, New York City has arrested 400,000 people. Uh, New York City arrests 140 people every single day for possessing tiny amounts of marijuana. There's absolutely no precedent. There's no precedent in New York City. There's no precedent in the United States. There's no precedent anywhere in the world. Singapore doesn't do this. They do it because they can get away with it, because there really has not until recently been much opposition. It allows them to track what officers are doing, the, the, the commanders in the police department. It allows them to get data on people who've never been in the system before. A third of the people who they arrest for marijuana have never been arrested before for anything. The police who make the arrests get overtime. The supervisors of the police who make the arrests get overtime. Veteran cops cops who care about policing don't like these things. They think they're an absolute waste of time. At the very simplest level, they take the police off the streets and bring them back to the station house where they spend their time booking people for possessing tiny amounts of, of marijuana. So if the cop is driving somebody back to the station, is booking somebody at the station or driving them down to the courthouse, they're not on the street preventing crime. So it is a, it is a wasteful and expensive way to use the valuable resource of an experienced police officer. So no, the marijuana arrests do not reduce drug use, they do not reduce marijuana use, and they do not reduce crime. 87% of the people arrested are black and Latino. They're almost all uh, either teenagers or young people. And they uh, wind up with permanent criminal records that follow them for the rest of their days that can bar them from housing, jobs, credit, a whole range of occupations and provide a permanent barrier to success and entry into the middle class world. And the New York City Police Department is paying $75 million a year to do this.